this video it falls under organizing it falls under organizing um, but it's it it's the step before organizing it is purging yes purging there are quite a few systems that are spoken about um, that are you know out in the social media world about how you need to handle purging their shows about hoarders and one thing one thing to take away from a show like that is just how emotional it is when you have to pare down your belongings and pare down what you're housing and keeping at your house we sometimes want to give <clears throat> precedence to items as if they are members of our family they're not members of our family um, a rule of thumb is if there is something that you have in your house or in your shed yes I'm talking to you if there is something in your house in your shed in your garage and you haven't used it in two years because one year could just be a fluke or you spent the holiday with a different family or something like that right but some of us were living in these you know big houses that things can just kind of like take up residence and um, you know that's not good I think taking up residence in your house it just leaves a very stagnant energy and um, sometimes you have to move things around even when you find yourself like getting stuck and making a decision say for an instance you wanna um, you know that you have to change the floors in your house and you're having a hard time making a decision now on the light end you might just need some energy clearing okay um, on the spiritual but logistical and you might need to just rearrange some things in your house so the, so the space can be different so you can see a different vantage you can see things from a different vantage point so you can understand like okay there's something there's other things that needed to need to head out the door besides the existing floor that's here um, it's a, it's a, it's an emotional process I know it is so if you are a family let everybody be accountable for their own stuff and ease yourself into it. If you think a sudden purge is, is something that your family cannot handle, then, you know, get boxes, big boxes, and put them in everybody's bedroom. And, and, and every week, not at the end of the week, every week, you guys are putting stuff in there, putting stuff in there, putting stuff in there, and getting rid of it or donating it, okay? Um, when you hold an item, you pick it up and you say to yourself, um, gosh, I've, I've had this for a while. I haven't used it. Can I use it? Have I used it? Have I used it in the last, I don't know, six months? Have I used it in the last, okay, I didn't use it in the last six months. I, I didn't use it in the last year. Do I need it? Does it give me good memories? All of that. Whether it gives you good memories or not, you still need to consider if you need to keep it or not. Okay? Uh, if you, if it is not utilitarian, it is not useful, you cannot just use it on a regular basis and it doesn't give you physical joy, it doesn't give you physical joy in your heart, then you may possibly need to get rid of it. Now, the physical joy in your heart, I talk, to, I talk to customers about this all the time. It is so helpful when they make a decision on something or they see something that they really, really like. Now, whether it works inside the home is a whole nother thing. When you take your sample home, then you'll be able to make that kind of decision. But just the mere fact of, just the mere reaction that you have physically in your body. How do you feel about something? Or like, oh, it's pulling me down. Or, hey, pay attention. Pay attention to how your hands feel. Pay attention to how your shoulders feel. Pay attention to how your chest is feeling. Pay attention to how you physically feel when you are admiring something. 
right? Dating. You know, I always compare stuff to dating. It's like, hmm, does this grind my grits? <laughs> you know, does this make me look twice? Is it attractive? Do I love it? Like, think about how you feel about it. Same thing with clothes. You going through that closet? Listen, if you haven't worn it in one year, that means that it doesn't excite you. And if it's not exciting you, then we don't want it. You know, we don't want it. If it's not multi-dimensional where we can use it in in like two types of outfits, that that's a good way to pare down. Like, can I use this with a bunch of other stuff? Okay, have I used it in the last year? How do I feel when I put it on? Do I feel chic? Um, do, 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 I, do I feel like a nurse? You know, do I feel like a stepchild? Do I feel like I'm just putting on clothes just so I won't be naked? Think about how you feel about it. Because then you may just need to pack it away and get rid of it. I really, really recommend, especially for women, you know, like don't compromise, right? We could just be so sent sent sentimental. You know, we'll just keep folk around because of who they are and the history they have with us and stuff like that. And then we want to do the same stuff to the crap in our shed, in our attic, and in our closets, in our cabinets, you know, in our cupboards. No. Just because it is in there doesn't necessarily mean you need to have it. Or, here's a good idea, if you have something and you're planning on giving it away to someone, get yourself a post-it right on there. Give to so, so, so. And put a date on it. The date you want to give it by or the date that you that you put that note on it. And just put the post-it on it. So the next time you see it and you pass it in the cabinet, you say, you know what? I have to get around to giving that away to Layla. Right? Or Miranda, whoever. I got to give it to whoever you, I got to give it to. And put it closer to the door. Or get yourself a little situation, a box, or something that you can kind of just like dump things in so you can haul them all at once, okay? And then, that's it. Like, there, there's systems called, um, you know, you know America, we love trends, right? Um, I think it's called Con Marie. It, 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 it's, it's. It's focused around like a, 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 a Japanese culture, but the name is behind the woman that created and trademarked um, a purging system, right, that you do when you're organizing. Um, for her, I remember one thing that stuck out because, um, you know, I, I'm always interested to know what people are doing, but, you know, for myself, my video, it's totally organic because I, what I'm telling you guys is how I'm doing it myself, okay? If I don't feel excited about it, let's not keep it. You know, if, if I can't label it and say this is what I'm going to do with this, I'm not keeping it. For an instance, I purchased three coffee cup, three coffee mugs the other day. And they were so adorable. Now, I have three coffee mugs at home that are plain. They don't excite me. They're more like utilitarian. Like, what if I have a coffee meeting or whatever? But not necessarily the ones that I'm going to love to use. And I packed up the three that I had, brought it to someone, right, that has a ginormous family. And I kept the ones that I brought. So I removed some things to take that, to keep those, the ones that I bought, right? So why, what I mean to say when I say that is like all of this purging... And being in a state of purging, it really is a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle because we we do not want to feel weighed down. It's like it's like your your mind is an apartment, just like the apartment you live in. And if you have a whole bunch of stuff that you're trying to keep track of, it's like it's literally taking up space in your mind as it is taking up space in your home. And that might be why some of you guys can't make a, a clear decision right so uh constantly be in a state of purging if you need help with that consulting feel free to reach out to me you know i'll be more than happy to help you i'm not a yes woman it may hurt a little bit but it's in love
Shamrandi from Providence Life Design.